Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 8 of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough. And looking at the mini-map, from here there's actually two of those nether pools. You can see them as, a, I don't know, purple smears on the map. Which is kind of interesting. Wasn't sure how they would show up. So, I'm doing some experiments here with some bamboo farming. And it turns out that it will grow underground. It's kind of cool. It's not like the... Uh, are you going to give me bamboo? You did. Okay, cool. Uh, the crops, which seem to really just like to have skylight. So I'm going to uh, try and rig up a little bit of a system here to auto-harvest uh, bamboo for me. And let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll do that there and we'll put some dirt down. Um... I need water. I don't want to grab that because it's keeping that guy still. And I don't want him wandering off into the caves. So I've got my infinite water source here. There we go. How you doing? Uh, yeah. You probably should do this transfer again. First time you run it through, it picks up everything in there. Second time, it will dump it. Odd. Bud. Okay, so we've got water. And let's go ahead and put our storage crate down here. Put a hopper into that. We will throw some water down here, which, eh, it'll work for now. It's not like the bamboo is going to go past the hopper, so. Well, it might, actually. Let's put that down. And let us do... That's gravel. But I had some andesite on me. I guess not. I'll tell you what, we're just going to put glass here. There we go. And that'll work for now. Oop, no, not that. There we go. So we're going to have then some bamboo here. That can grow up eventually. And then I'm going to want blocks there. We're going to go uh, observer. Uh, we're going to go pistons. There and there. And thinking, let's just make it so it only has to grow one block up before it'll auto harvest. I'm going to put observers there and I gotta face the wrong way, don't I? There. And there, right? So let's grab our cobblestone back out. And go, dang it, I've got redstone. Let's just kind of clear this out a little bit around here. Let's go grab some redstone. Oop. Let's just fall in every hole along the way here. And... Uh, half stack should work for now. Alright, so... Then... Just run like this, and... Like that, right? Oh yeah, that's going to be a problem now, isn't it? I completely forgot about that. The piston itself is actually going to trigger the observer. So what I could do instead then is just move these up a block, right? That way it'll grow too tall, but it won't, like, feed off of itself anymore. And, you know, I just placed them wrong again. Oh, well. You can go like that, and you can do that. We are going to need 
more cobblestone here then, and so I can do that. Right, and let's go ahead and get our bone meal back out. There it goes. And automatically, you know, broke it. The problem is, it's going to fly every which way, right? Might as well blast that up there. And let's do that. Not that. That. Got our torch back. Go ahead and put a torch here and here on both of those to make sure that it's nice and bright in there. And you notice the bamboo there is grown already too. That's the one I didn't bone meal. Yeah, hmm, that's not ideal. Yeah, see where it's, it's actually falling on the dirt now. What do we have? Oh, I've got that, like, was it the factory hopper? This thing. Just a hopper and five of these metal bars, and that will fix everything, actually. So let's go ahead and put the water back up. And... Grab that. Grab you. Look we'll at this thing made up. I'm going to be expanding my workshop into that cave. I need to really work on a better... Uh, arrangement of, you know, ways to get in and out. And there's our hopper. Yep. And that was a quest by itself, too. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, I've got got some ore on me here, too. Got some silver ore balls down there. So instead, how about I put you here that like that. We'll just break that and do that now. So if I hey reach bonus, awesome. Wait for it. I could. Friction radius, uh, let's turn that off all the way. There it is. And insertion stack size, we'll just crank that up all the way too. And you are insertion delay, one second to 10. Okay. And now what I can do in the future is actually Switch these two pieces of cobblestone out with some dispensers and bone meal. And just really go to town on the uh, the bamboo. But for now, I mean, it'll work. I don't have a mob farm per se yet. And I'm not sure... Like, what the best way to, to get mobs going would be. Hey guys. Five eggs for me. Thank you much. Probably replace that uh, nest with another factory hopper when you get down to it, though. And here, let me turn that off. There we go. Just odd not having the uh, view bobbing. I've been so used to it for so many years that, yeah. All right, so something else that I probably should go ahead and make is, like, the most primitive weapon in the pack, but... Mokoheitl, I think. I'm not sure. It is just a basically wood and flint sword. But that was a quest here, and that'll get us a pedestal and a potion of strength. Okay. Now, slime balls, we need 16 of them. 16 bones and 10 gunpowder. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. And let's get some of this stuff put away here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, downside. 
Uh, storage space, honestly, that is still a bit of an issue. And yeah, always make extras. Uh, let's go ahead and keep these splint shards too, just in case. One thing I can do with bamboo, though, is I can get this hand scraper. Three iron nuggets and a stick. Eh, should be easy enough. Let's make two of them. There we go. Using a crafting table to scrape bamboo into sheets for leather. So, do that. Bamboo sheets. And then bamboo sheets, you can turn them into paper. Or, you can craft them three by three into large bamboo sheets. And then, basically cook it on a campfire. But, the thing is, is hey look, paper. Um, I don't think I've got paper anywhere, really, do I? That's going to have to go there for now. Let's see, put the following four, and it was knocked back, yeah. Yeah, I've got stuff to put away still. Uh, bricks should probably go into here, right? Yeah, I've got some in there already. Let's just do that. And, yeah. So I should probably get some actual Honest God storage set up here soon. Probably would be a good idea. Oh yeah, I made some Electrum too for, I think it was my sword I put Electrum on. Uh, yeah, Sturdy Electrum Guard. And the Sturdy Guards, uh, let's see, which can block incoming attacks if timed correctly. It's a right-click block, which is awesome, but it's that. And it's got a cooldown. It's all the longer it lasts, so it's not, you can't sit there forever in a day holding it, but... I mean, it does work. Alright, so... Go ahead and get these claimed up, I guess. Uh, wooden shears and a flint saw. I need a wooden grip for Mers. You need... Treated sticks. And it's made to... Any nugget now, huh? It used to be copper only. Oh, no, regular sticks will work. Really? Hmm. Okay. And then wooden shears are just two sticks, plant shard, and plant string. I'll get around to those eventually. I don't have any need for leaves right now, and storage being what it is, yeah. So I should probably go ahead and unlock all these skills, which... I can, it's not even unlocking it, it's just clicking a check mark. This explains what all the different stats that level up are, you know, good for. So, farming, fishing, just cooking, building, smithing. And crafting. Like this here. No bonuses for higher level skills. This one, higher level smithing. Smelting ore, possibly getting extra products when salvaging items. Higher level increases success rate of salvaging. And increases the amount repaired when using the anvil. And anvils are less likely to break. Higher levels increase increase your reach. Uh, possibility extra food being created or when being created or being made when cooking food. Fishing, higher levels, increased probability of catching better items. Farming allows you to harvest more crops from a single plant, harvest them faster. Combat is more damage. Extra damage from bows. Mine faster and drop extra items while mining. Excavation, dig faster and find treasure on blocks. Wood cutting allows you to cut wood faster. No skill for flying. Underwater night vision will unlock at level 25. Well, that's awesome. And swimming into a lesser extent, endurance will work together to extend your stay underwater. Endurance. Higher levels will decrease the amount of damage taken from hits and increase the amount of extra hearts you have. Also contributes to how long you stay underwater. Also contribute healing effect across time with higher levels healing more hearts for every passive time frame. So, honestly, just, you know, honestly, just good stuff all the way around. And yeah, you guys can go in there for now. All right. Uh, let's get back to here. Was there anything else on this page that I had done? Oh yeah, there's my factory hopper. Which, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cash that in now. Waystone was levels and some magma cream. Okay. Uh, diamond armor, we're a quarter of the way there. Which I found basically just from looting. There's the iron mattock. Advanced tools can be made from iron, gold, or diamond. Function both as axes and shovels with regards to blocks they can break. 
have right click functionality, have access shovels and hose, you know, all that fun stuff, right? Uh, two, three. Get some more iron plates. I'm gonna need a new engineer's hammer here soon, too. And like so, right? And that magma cream was literally a single magma cream. It is wonderful, right? Eight stone coins and a faucet. All right, so there's that, that, and that. We have an enchanted book of Killing Four. Kills additional blocks in a radius. Uh, thanks, I guess. Get some toast. Uh, let's see, water strainers. Actually, let's get some of these made up here. So I need boxes, hoppers, yeah. So let's go ahead and I guess just use those up. Uh, let's see, I got those, that. Need four of you, and I need planks, which I should have some in here. Yeah. Two strainer bases, there's that quest done. And what I could do is actually set these up down here by my bamboo farm. I went down the wrong staircase. This way. All right, and fall damage. Okay, so how are we doing here? Eh, two. It's not super fast right now, but it is, it's never ending, so. What I should be able to do then is punch a hole back here like that. Two in there, and we'll just do that. Hey, look at that. Works perfect. And more fall damage. Eh, it's whatever. And boom. Now I just need... Let's go ahead and claim this stuff. Um, I need strainers. So I need probably two of these for right now, which is going to be 10 string and 8 sticks. I mean, it shouldn't be all that terrible. Uh, let's see. Yeah, number. Good there. So it would be... Two of you. Do that. Four. There we go. And what was that now? Yeah, that's that uh, lattice protector blocks. Okay. Yeah, we can just go ahead and drop these things on in. There we go. No problems detected. And it's going to slowly start counting up. Anything it lives in will be down there. We could get a fisherman strainer as well and uh, give it some bait and whatnot. Which is what this quest here is for. And that is four bamboo around a string mesh. Okay. I think I've got bamboo now. And then I need a worm bin as well, which is three composters, which you can actually make from a log and you can get two of them actually. Okay. Well, let's get a couple of those then. Uh what is here? Now really should be getting some tree farming done here soon. Composter, done. Over here, grab three of those, and there is our worm bin. Requires vegetables or fruits. Eh, fine by me. I wonder if we can hop her into the worm bin. Probably, but I don't really have... I don't feel like making another hopper right now. And, yeah. Show recipes. Dried kelp works. Yeah, I can do, actually, a kelp farm roughly the same as this. Just with water in the middle. Do exactly the same as this, actually. 
And I put my glass away. I was going to put two more pieces of glass in. I mean, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it might in the long run. Nothing else that will make it look a little bit better. So what do we got? We've gotten dirt from you and dirt from you. Hooray. It is so amazing having some water strainers. But at the same time, it is completely renewable resources and it is free stuff. And I need a stack of worms for this quest. And then that'll unlock the bait pot, which doubles the efficiency of worms in the fisherman's strainer. Now, planter was bricks. Hey, I have a water bucket on me. Oh, no. All right. Now I do. So, bricks would be right here. There's that. Uh, can I have a piece of dirt, please? And there's our planter. Grow crops anywhere without water. Kind of handy. And I got some tofu scramble. All right, so this is my passageway here. I got tired of villagers just walking in and harassing me while I was trying to work. So I made a block and a half tall door. Now I should go ahead and it with me. Speaking of villagers, though, it's gotten really quiet lately. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. I know I have at least two. There's the guy stuck in the cave, and that guy we just saw sleeping. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I wonder if something got in here somehow. Which, uh, the zombie spawning mechanic, whenever you hit a zombie, could have spawned something in here, and that would have been bad. I'm just going to leave the extra torch there. Who cares? Yeah, no, there used to be a lot more villagers in this place. And now it's just me and the cats and a golem. And cows. Which I did do some work on the cow farm. Uh, nothing major. Alright, where's everybody at? Well, it is nighttime, so it's not like I'm going to hear them walking around and whatnot, so... Hmm. Did you go all, like, you know, shining on them? Is that what happened? Iron Golem, you know, here's Johnny moment. I do hear some other villagers, so. How the hell did you do that? I have no idea. That's impressive, though, dude. That is, a uh, that is really, really impressive. And yeah, the crops you want are the ones that don't grow here. Why you gotta be like that? I do hear some other villagers. Okay. Oh yeah, there's this guy here, novice Fletcher. I can sell sticks to get emeralds from him, which is not bad, really. Yeah, sticks are pretty easy to get. We'll get down to it. Got ourselves a bell. It was a wonderful dead end that serves no purpose. There's a cartography table. It still seems kind of dark right here. That's weird. I was right clicking on the wall and I couldn't place it there. Nothing, huh, guys? Yeah, there's, it's like a ghost town in here now. I'm thinking we might have had some zombie issues at one point or another. Oh, no, there's two of them sleeping here. It's still a bit of a ghost town. 
I mean, there was a horde of them there for a while, so. And dead end, okay. I do like the underground village. It's really easy to get lost in, though. Alright, well. Get back, if I can, to the, uh, My portion. You know, it's just easier to do it this way. Yeah, I see another... So yeah, no, we still have quite a few left. It just doesn't feel like as many as there used to be. So, a little bit concerned about that. But yeah, the, uh, the zombies can only spawn in 7 or lower... But the backup they call when you hit them and spawn, I think it's like 10 or lower or 11 or something like that. And uh, yeah, that's not exactly the greatest, you know, thing in the world. Here, I have like no carrots. There you go. Knock yourself out. I've got a couple cooked frog legs, which is, eh, it's okay, I guess, right? More blue dye, uh, beetroot seeds, sure, why not? You get a stack of potatoes. Which is honestly just a, uh, okay, thanks, kind of thing. Doing good on potatoes. Uh, should probably go ahead and get a compost for now, too. Alright. Apparently, I still have other requests that I haven't... Uh, oh, well, yeah, Tetra. Okay. So, a couple schematics that we got. Emerald ore and... Wow, four emerald ore. And six emeralds. Uh, thank you. I have a full stack of emeralds now. Awesome. Uh, axe head gives me some acacia. All right. The butt head. Potion of swiftness. And that was... I got those for uh, making my... Uh, my axe while making it into Tetra. And then Pristine Gems. Decrease in durability gain. Okay. Better versions of benefits than the standard version of their gem usually add a decrease in its durability gain, although with Pristine Diamond it's an overall increase in benefits. Okay. And I'm guessing I can only get those out of here. Eh, 10 gold nuggets is not bad. I did crack open a few uh, in the past here. Me, me, got a lot of iron nuggets out of it. I think I got a couple diamonds and maybe an emerald out of them as well. So, I mean, geos are kind of worth it, but it's not. These all like tier one. Wooden andesite. I can hone my iron hammer. Yeah, I have a wooden hammer and I have a stone hammer, right? And it's just like, yeah, no, you need a stone hammer tier two. And then iron hammer is a tier three. Blackstone hammer is a tier four. All right, cool. Exploration of the ancient bases. Sitting hammer tier five, nether hammer tier six. All right. So I have a question. Why are you not detecting... You want maybe just an actual, like, honest to god stone, like, smooth stone hammer? Or what? Uh... I want to make the hammers again now. There was, yeah, wooden hammer. Not even showing me a recipe. Mm, okay. You don't work? Cobblestone works. I have literally the hammer you're wanting. Uh, give me a piece of string, I guess. 
it might be two strings. Let's just add a binding to this. Nope. Okay. Well, why is that not detecting then? Maybe I have to upgrade that then? I had cobblestone on me. Hammerhead. Um, that. There we go. Craft. There it is. It wanted me to upgrade a wooden hammer to a stone one. Which I left on the table. Okay. I mean, I guess that works. And then iron hammer triggered, then blackstone. Um, I seriously only bring back the bricks. Yeah, no, it's not showing as a viable material. All right, so you go back to the end then, it looks like. Well, not the end, the nether. Since I don't have any regular blackstone around here. Uh, I don't have any hiding in here, do I? No. We have some bee nests, though. Which, I'll go ahead and tuck into there. And then I think I had two bees here. So I've got yellow carpenter, a reed, two ghostly, a mason, a green carpenter, and a mason. Okay. I've got a good selection of bees going so far, actually. Hmm. Well, let's get some of this stuff just tucked away for now. At least clean my inventory out of here. All right, and that potion of swiftness can go. So I need blackstone to continue on with this path, but what do we get? Two levels. Three levels. Okay. This will give me four levels. Wow, I'm sensing a pattern here. And then I need to get stuff from the underground bases, which apparently... Well, obsidian and then netherite. Hmm. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, just got back from the nether. And let's see. We had more gilded. Guild one, guild two. Okay. So guild one, guild one. There's not a guild two. Then a two to a three. And I have a two and a three. I guess it's progress. You only find those really in other fortresses. I got some stratolite, which is awesome. Got a drop bear claw. Full beads, which I don't know why I brought those back. Another gas tier. And wither skeleton skull. So we yeah, got drop bear. Gives me some experience. Nether waste, which is the traditional nether, the old nether. Drop bear claw. That'll give me an iron ingot. Okay. Use me flint and steel or a special potion, which is the potion of clinging. I should walk on ceilings. That could be fun. And I guess more blocks that I don't have room for. And there's that. Let's see. I can go into there. I also got myself a bucket of strad pole. Which apparently you can feed to a crimson mosquito, and I finally got one of the pavasas off those. And yeah, encounter a straddler, large rocky version of a strider found in basalt deltas. They are aggressive and attack explorers by launching strad poles at them. And you just scoop it up in a bucket of lava you have on you. Straddleite is a thing you can use to make straddle boards, which sounds like a lot of fun, but. I only have two of the stratolites, and I only have one of the, uh, or I don't even have one yet of the netherite. 
Hey, I got an iron ore. Let's just go ahead and turn that on so it doesn't waste fuel. Put it there for now. Uh, I made some bee cages before I went too, which is a good idea, actually. And there's more of those. We can use that to make a blood sprayer or a crimson mosquito larva. Spirit treat is, is the favorite treat of the warped toad and will allow you to tame, tame it with a few of these. Oh, that's good to know. Warped toad is a rare spawn in the warped forest, which is neutral. Favorite food is mosquitoes. Might be worth having one's friend. Be healed with maggots and bred with uh, crimson mosquito larva. Okay. Which I can feed a stradpole to a crimson mosquito larva and it might grow up. Not something I'm really all that interested in right this second. But I mean, I do have. I got five maggots. I've got three of the proboscis. Proboscis? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, fish oil. I made that off camera, which is in here. Made a couple bottles of it. Now I got four. Basically, copper lanterns at this point, right? There was another use for it, wasn't there? Interesting properties in the rain. Hmm. I've played around with that, I think. And then in Tetra, I found another scroll, which I left behind the last time. I guess arm or whatever it is. That is a gold coin, though. Is there anything in gold that I want? Two of them can get me a free waystone. Regen, lure three, luck of the C3, and 30 levels. So we're going to go with not quite yet. I don't even have room for gold coins. All right. Let's see, Tobol to go. Oh, yeah, I picked up the reclaimer finally. Got myself a copper coin from that. I did search the Bastion, and I uh, did not find any more Piglin Brutes, unfortunately. Let alone the Snap Banner or Pig Step. And I'm still a little short on Ancient Debris. I didn't really go looking for it, though. All right. Um, be productive, though. I made the Bee Cage. Which there was a quest here in First Steps for that, too, wasn't there? I don't think I gave a reward, though. Oh, uh, well, it did. Get myself a nifty forgotten hat. Which has got some sort of benefit. I can't... Oh, luck. So, improves your fortune and whatnot. And I got some zucchini bread. All right, cool. Uh, let's see, I managed to find myself a magmatic bee in the nether, which is awesome. And there's that. I can make pole arms. Uh, let's see, was there anything else in my backpack? I made the Engineer's Decor reference manual off camera as well. Basically just to complete a quest when you get down to it. Uh, I mean, an engineer, this quest right here. I want a bolt and it gives me some cookies and milk. All right, so I have Blackstone though. So let's go ahead, I guess, create this hammer. Stone hammer, hammerhead, blackstone, craft, hammerhead, blackstone, craft. There's now a tier four hammer. It's awesome. And go back to tools of the ancients here, right? So there's that. Holosphere. Metal scraps around a redstone lamp. Right, or hear me out. There we go. Or that. But I suppose then get better hammers, you're gonna to need to go exploring underground and cold biomes for ancient bases. To help locate these bases, a the holosphere can be upgraded with an eye vendor to get a proximity tracker of bases. Okay. They can sometimes be seen in the mini map wall underground. Exploring these bases, we get to bring a hammer and a claw tool to be able to salvage objects in the base. When looking at blocks, they will sometimes show a hammer or crowbar symbol along the box. With the right clicking will do an action. A white icon means the action can happen, red means it will not happen. Yellow will have a chance to fail. Salvage will give you unique components and materials you can use. Alright, well that's cool and all, but before I go any further here, let's uh get our blackstone hammer into here. Actually, I can't do that. I've got to use let's go ahead and upgrade the iron one. Iron one's pretty hurt. Uh let's see. How about a stone hammer, right? Hammerhead with obsidian. 
Requires a tier six hammer. Really? My blackstone is what, like a probably a tier five then? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab seafood soup. Okay. Forge hammer can be found in ancient bases where it can be used to create a higher tier of gear. Okay. Then a workbench or a forge workbench can be used with it. Activate the hammer. It must be powered with two filled thermal cells or inserted on the sides with a right click. Accessories can then be added to the other two sides. Thermal cells can be found in ancient bases as loot. They can be charged in a transfer units attached to operating core extractor units. The side of the transfer unit must be pried off to be able to plug cells in. Gotcha then. All right, let's go ahead and throw seafood soup away. And I don't have a place for this hat to go either, do I? Yeah, in there. Now, I ended up with one thermal cell. I need to find another one, so I should probably head on back to the place, right? Forged workbench. While not necessary, it looks really nice with the forged hammer we picked up with Silk Touch. Gotcha. Finding this quest are a number of parts that can be salvaged from ancient bases to get unique abilities. Quick latch, earth piercer, bolt, pathonic extractor, stone cutter. Insulated plate, question chamber, planer, stabilizer. What is that? Out of the forge hammer, it allows upgrades to be <clears throat> or made with the hammer to have better stats. Can be added to <clears throat> forge hammer to decrease the chance of jamming by 50%. We had a forge hammer to increase its hammer rank by one, but may light blocks around it on fire. Can be attached to a forge hammer, forge hammer transferring it to increase its efficiency. All right, so we've got a lot of uh, stuff to look up here, don't we? Rope tool belt. Hmm. Do I have a belt equipped yet? I do not. Okay. All right. Well, there's that and belt strap. The hell did? Okay. Why did that auto complete? That's weird. Large amount of arrows. Be quick selected. Okay. No valid items. Really. Booster. Sort of jetpack that uses gunpowder's fuel can be activated by crouch jumping, jumping in the air, or while flying with elytra. I should carry a large amount of potions, but a limited variety, and storage pouch. Yep. Storage add-on to store a number of items that does not have quick access. All right, let's get our stone hammer out of here. Drop you into here. Oh, hey, look at that. So I can add things into here. So if I wanted, say, the storage pouch, then I actually have to choose a material to make it out of then. Hmm. Why not phantom membrane, right? Give that a shot. Uh, nope, doesn't work. Okay. Bring a thing. Nope. You know, probably leather, honestly. Yep, it's got the little thing around it. Ah, uh, integrity usage. Leather is not the way to go. All right, yeah. I need to add integrity to it here. Leather strap, which comes already built into it. Uh, strap 2x maybe? Nope. Uh, rope, woolen sash, I need some wool. Rope and some leather scraps provided a great way to gain you know, easy access to one of your tools, but the rope lacks the strength to support additional tools. Weaving a sash out of wool should provide better support than simply tying a rope around your waist. Okay. So wool. I don't have any wool. Two, just in case. Wool and sash. Hey, look at that. Yep, and that upped the integrity. Leather wrap. That ups the integrity as well. Your two cutting implement. Most swords can be used for cutting. Apparently not that, though. Oh well. Or what?
Okay, it just needs one leather, but I have tier one available. Okay, how about we do this? Oh, that looks kind of cool how it just hangs like that. Uh, no. No, it's like, I am not happy with this. You will not be doing the thing. Weird. I mean, a, a diamond tetrasword is like, no. Huh. Well, damn. Well, let's go ahead and pull that out of there. Leather strap. Is there like a way to like make this better? There's two straps of the belt, which can be used for carrying and quickly accessing tools and other items. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm really about that. That's just four straps. Okay. So, I can upgrade this one if I want to others or... Uh, the quiver is four. Okay. Yeah. Ocean bag is four as well. So, I have to, like, upgrade this thing a lot before I can do anything except for hold a tool. Well, that's uh, hardly ideal. Did I have one already? Oh, yeah, I did. Oops. I forgot I did. All right, then. Uh, let's go ahead and go to here, though, and plunk our other bee in there. But I've got eight bees to choose from now. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, started off with just the idea of to make a bamboo farm and kind of evolved from there. How is this thing doing now? Yeah, 18. I mean, it's not fast by any stretch of the imagination, but it works. And if I really want to, like, greatly accelerate in the future, I can I can do that. For one thing, from villager trading, I ended up with, is it in here? Like, five stacks of flesh meal. Use, like, bone meal works on small flowers, vines, sugar cane, nether wart, and coarse root, too. And if I add three small bones to it, I can make turn it into bone meal. Now, this stuff is... Not horrible. Three rotten flesh, charcoal, but what powder, and a bit of water. Or I can use like six fish. Now, what what powder is feathers, vines, and a drying agent. Which is natron crystals and sunflower. Okay. Uh, any seeds dryable and crystals. Okay. Uh, what is the veggie way one though? Doesn't have a recipe. Okay. Um, unprocessed drying agent is seeds, okay, cactus, and a poison potato. Make eight. And then I just cook it. Yeah, yeah, that works. Also, our carrot screw. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.